Watch it now. Yeah, Can I let's talk get about back this? to the car. Yes, actually, getting back to this, why is it such a massive step forward? OK, I'll tell you why. Part of it is the phenomenal speed. I mean, you might think it's not that much faster than a McLaren, the F1, the last fastest car in the world. OK, that did 241. OK, you put an F1 and this on the line together, you can let the McLaren get to 120 miles an hour before you set off and you'll beat it to 200. That is how quick it is, OK? And then there's the fuel consumption. The trivia is just amazing, but the fuel consumption is my favourite bit. Flat out, OK? it has got a 100-litre tank, that's 100 quid to fill it up. Flat out, it's all gone in 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 Ouch. minutes. See, they, you said the aeroplane was thirsty. No, and that's then, no, no, and then you've got the brakes. You've got the brakes on it, OK? You can pull it up to a dead stop from 250 miles an hour in 10 seconds. What? Mind you, you've still got to cover some distance in those Oh, yeah, no, you start breaking in Hampshire, you'll be through Dorset before you stop <laughs> halfway through. No, it's actually five football pitches to stop. I'm surprised it can't fly. You're the pilot. You should understand that's the real genius of it, is how you keep it on the ground at 250 miles an hour. I mean, a, a jumbo is off, up and off at 150. This is still down. It's in, it actually changes shape the faster you go. For but how long can you actually rave on about this car? Weeks. No, really? I mean, literally, well, leave me you, alone. You, I will you, talk for the whole show about this well, stuff. Well, you can't. You've got to stop. OK, now just think how hard it is to get 1,000 horsepower onto the road, OK? Imagine how strong the gearbox has got to be. Now, this was built and designed by a British company, OK? And I've watched the man who ran the project become an old man in, like, five years. I'm not kidding. And I said to him, look, you've done Formula One gearboxes. And he went, yes, but this is way faster than any Formula One car. And a Formula One car doesn't have anything like this much power. And the gearbox in an F1 car has only got to last two races, like, what, four hours? The gearbox in this has got to last... 10 or 20 years, and it can't weigh more than a bag of flour. This is so much more than any car you've ever seen. I mean, it's as easy to drive as a normal car, but it goes like a bullet. And then when you're going down the mountain road, it handles like a Lotus Elise, which is why, in the race we're having tonight, I am just creaming it. Would you just please stop bickering? Easy please, because I've got this question to ask, OK? How much do you think it costs Volkswagen to actually make this car? No idea. Five million quid. What, each car? Each so they're making car a huge is five million. loss on each one? Yeah, making a huge loss. They did it only as a technical exercise to see if it could be done. And what worries me is that in the current climate, you know, with shareholders and everyone twittering on about global warming, nobody's going to do it again. No, we've had our Concorde moment. Exactly. This we? is Concorde. Not just the best car that's ever been made, but very possibly the best car we'll see in our lifetime. And on that rather... Sad bombshell. It's time to uh, end the show. We're not here next week because some men are coming playing billiards, I think. Something, yeah. Something like that. Uh, so we'll be back on December the 27th. We'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>